Hi, I'm John King, and I will present our work, Other Regions 3D Bipedal Characters in Arbitrary Poses. In 3D character animation, a character starts from its canonical pose called bind pose, which is also known as T pose or A pose. The motion of the character is defined using the sequence of characters underlying skeleton. Based on the animated skeleton, the character's mesh is then deformed along with the skeleton based on its skin weight, which defines the relation between the character's mesh and the skeletal bone. Rigging is a process of defining both the skeleton and the skin weights given a character mesh. While some of the previous methods concentrated on automating the manual rigging process, they restricted their methods for characters in bind poses. However, scan 3D models for other artists created characters that are not intended for skeletal animation or at poses that are far from their T pose or A pose. To revive such characters into the virtual world, we want to extend the automated rigging process for characters in arbitrary poses. In order to animate the character using automated methods such as modern motion retargeting, we also need our character to be at their bind pose, such as T pose or A pose. As a result, we have to figure out how much the joints are rotating. Using this approach, we will be able to read the input character and transform it back to its bind pose. Combining it, this with the motion retargeting techniques, we will be able to animate the 3D character in arbitrary poses in a fully automated way. To solve our problem, we use a fixed skeletal structure with 22 joints. Our pipeline comprises of three modules, joint net, rot net, and skin net, where each module regresses the joint position, joint rotation, and the skin weights for our input mesh. The below is the overview of our pipeline. Taking advantage of successes from human pose estimation, we use heat map based approach for joint position estimation, where each heat map represents the likelihood of individual joint position. The 3D mesh is first voxelized into sign distance field and then fed to the 3D stack hourglass network, outputting the likelihood heat map for each joint position. The network is trained using the plot entropy loss. The final joint positions are regressed using maximum likelihood estimate of, dis of the distribution within the 3D voxel field. After predicting the joint position, we compute the volumetric geodesic distance between predicted joints and vertices. We stack them as a feature to the original mesh for the input of the skin net. The skin net that wants graph convolution to regress the skin weights as a distribution over joints. The network is then trained using soft cost entropy loss. For the final output, we filter up the three most relevant bones over the, the threshold of 0.2 and normalize them so that the skin weights for each vertex sum up to 1. For rotnet, we take joint position as input and regress the joint rotations using fully connected network. The target joint rotation matrix follows the biovision hierarchy format commonly used in being a 60 representation of the joint rotation matrix. For training, we used geodesic distance between the target and predicted rotation matrices as the loss function. Using the regress joint rotations, we can transform the character to its bind pose by inversing the skeletal animation process. For the dataset, we gathered 64 characters in bind pose from the Mixon website. Using 55 for training, 
three for validation and six for testing. We simplified the mesh to have less than 8,000 vertices. We then rigged them to have the same skeletal structure with chain two joints and generated seven animation sequences totaling 585 frames for each character. This is the result of our joint map predicting joint skeletal structure. Our method is compared with auto rigging methods targeted for characters and fine tools. For RigNet, a learning based method with, without template, we retrained the model using our dataset. The hyperparameters were tuned to have the same average number of output joints for proper comparison. As can be seen in the figure, method without template creates inconsistent skeletal structure and fails to form a plausible skeleton. Since their topology is not fixed, we cannot turn them back to the bind tools, which is required as a starting point of skeletal animation. Pinocchio at the first, fourth column is a classical approach using template skeleton. However, it fails to create plausible joint position at the hand parts and gains less score in the quantitative analysis. For quantitative analysis, we measured errors for joint position and skeletal structure. For joint position error, we used mean per joint position error, info, intersection of a union, precision and recall, which are common metrics also used in human pose estimation. For measuring the quality of the skeletal structure, we defined skeletal earth mover distance, which is noted as SEMD in the second column. Skeletal structure of bones can be represented as a set of line segments. However, measuring the distance between them is not trivial. We instead sample 300 points from the skeleton so that each bone has about the same number of points assigned to it. We then measure the earth mover distance between the set of sampled points of target and predicted skeleton, giving it the name skeletal EMD. Using the metric, we could measure structural similarity such as symmetry and density of bones and joints. The results show that our method shows superior or comparable performance over the metrics shown above. This is the full result of our auto rigging pipeline. Using our rigging method, we could successfully transform the characters and arbitrary poses to the bind pose. Following all the results combined with motion retargeting from Mixamo after converting our mesh to the bind pose. We can see that the reanimated characters look plausible and does not deviate much from the animation generated using the ground truth skeleton and skin rigs. The following are results for other characters starting from different poses.